to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So again, new background, really happy with the new setup. Um, I've set up a little like office space, so I'm actually in my office, if that wasn't obvious. Um, just because I've had my bedroom set up for a couple of years now and I just really fancied a change. I needed like a shake up, a change. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with like my little setup I've got here, my little office plant as well. And yeah, here is my September favorite. So first of all, who can believe we're at the end of September? Like, oh my God, it's like October and I just can't even, like it's gonna be jumper weather, it's gonna be like proper, proper autumn and I'm not looking forward to the coldness, can I just say? Like, I've been hanging on to summer for as long as fucking possible. So I wanted to show you today the products that I've been loving throughout September and some new things that I have picked up this month. So first of all, I wanna talk about my skin journey. So if you watched my August favorites and my July favorites, obviously I've been talking to you about new products and new tablets um, and supplements that I have been taking to help improve my skin. So I have now changed my pill because I think that definitely was affecting the hormone side of it. Um, obviously I'm very early days into that so I can't say whether that is what has helped it. Um, but something that I know definitely has helped it is some probiotics. So thank you all so much for all of your amazing skincare recommendations when I posted about this over on my Instagram. It was really, really useful and really helpful and I've learned about some fantastic products but the main thing a lot of you came up with as well as my friend Hannah was to take some probiotics so I picked up the ProBio 7 advanced formula so that's quite an old-fashioned packaging when I picked it up I was like are these still in date but um these are so good so I've been taking them now for three to four weeks and even within the first week my skin started to clear so quickly so Obviously I needed these, definitely. Um, and I also started taking milk thistle at the same time to help with my liver functionality. Um, and to help with the digestion side of things as well. So yes, obviously I do feel these, cause I started these first, I do feel they really have helped. I've definitely been strictly keeping to my um, skincare routine, doing lots of acne face masks, doing the Arcana face mask. Um, and I picked up a new Elmas one as well um, with lavender in to obviously help the, reduce the redness. So all of this combined, definitely with the probiotics, I definitely feel is what's cleared them. And now obviously I've changed my pill um I really think like it's all just gonna clear because it's looking really really good so obviously my body and my skin just like needed this hormonal switch up definitely um and to obviously have some probiotics as well so these are really good I got these off Amazon but you can get them in Holland and Barrett as well um so if you're suffering from any acne problems yourself probiotics I took them last year and they really helped so I know for a fact these really really do help and I don't know, I don't, I'm not an expert, I don't really know how they help, but um, obviously it just helps with your whole indigestion um, and, you know, replaces that natural bacteria um, in, in your body that you need to kind of have your hormones balanced and stuff like that. I, I mean, like I say, that could have all just been bullshit. I'm really not like a probiotics expert or how these work, um, but all I know is that it has worked. So definitely if you have acne yourself, like this is definitely something to have a look at, check out, definitely check out Milk Thistle as well. That's what I've been taking. And all of these things combined have really made a massive difference and a bigger difference than I've noticed definitely in the last couple of months since I've been trying different things. So I'm definitely going to stick to these um, and keep going. So the, also I will mention the Womankind tablets that I took as well, which I mentioned in my last um, video, they did help, but it was really weird. I don't know what, because basically I was taking that and I was taking zinc and copper at the same time. And I don't know which one was making me do this, but I felt really nauseous every day. I think they really irritated my stomach. Um, and I know Hannah said that like, when you take food supplements, you really need to eat quite a lot of food to obviously accommodate it. Um, but with these, I felt fine. Like my stomach, as soon as I stopped taking the zinc and the woman kind, my stomach went back to normal. So I can't pinpoint which one it was, but um, if anybody else has had the same thing, it'd be really interesting to know just because I don't know which one it was. It could have been the zinc, it could have been the womankind, but I just stopped both because I was like, 
or I feel horrible and I didn't want anything like nasty to happen to my stomach lining or anything like that. So my next favorite of September is the gorgeous Kyle Gray's new Oracle card set. So these are the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. So Kyle very kindly sent me these um, and in a lovely little parcel with a little lovely note um, and some white sage, which was super useful, well useful. I've had my eyes on these cards for ages anyway. I was super excited for them to launch. So it was a very lovely surprise when they popped through my door. Um, I, you know, I love Kyle's work. I love all of his books. I love his Oracle cards. I use his Keepers of the Light cards every single day. Um, so it's been really good to add these cards in as well. So these cards are very different to his kind of Keepers of the Light cards. I know he's got some angel cards out as well. These cards are really different just because they've got loads of beautiful different meanings. Um, and I feel they're more, they're very ancestry, of course, because that's the title, but it's very different to any Oracle cards I've seen out there which is obviously amazing because we want that we want uniqueness so I was really excited by all the meanings so these are what the back of the cards look like you've got a gorgeous like circle with different symbols in an owl um, and some other stuff so all of the cards are so beautifully designed you've got cards that have just got symbols on and like little items and then you've got cards with actual ancestors on so this card is the white witch be the light so they've got little meanings at the bottom as well as well as extended meanings in the booklet that comes with with it um so this is the moon card take note of intuitive messages then we've got the great teacher card with the flower of life my faves um which is learn from spiritual experiences so there's loads of amazing cards in here like i literally went through them all was like picking out my favorites and this is the angel guardian who's on the front which is trust your instincts so i feel these are very ancestry very spirit guidey very um messenger cards instead of like angel answer cards like i kind of normally use so I really loved these just one because of the meanings one because of the designs and the message behind them is so so beautiful so yes my oracle cards are growing at an alarming rate because I just keep buying more um so I literally have like a whole shelf of them which um which Kyle didn't help but I'm, I'm just growing like literally practices each day I'm like just pulling cards from different packs now like what does this pack say what does this pack say so I'm really really excited to add these into my little routines to do some cards spreads with them um really really like just so love the feel of them love the vibe of them um and just they're awesome kyle so thank you so so much so these are now out so of course everything i speak about in this video will be linked down below so you can obviously go check them out but it's a nice thick box actually these there's a lot in there there's 55 in this deck um, but yeah, I think you're all really, really gonna love them. It's something different, something really cool and really ancestral as well to kind of get you in touch with your past lives, with your ancestors, um, and kind of connecting to that kind of spirit guide and mental realm as well. So my next favorite of September is some Aura Spray. So you know that I've been loving my sprays anyway. I mentioned another brand um, range that I used a couple of months ago, my favorites. But when Hannah and I went to Glastonbury, we got these from the Glastonbury Wells shop, um, which is the Wells Garden they've got like a little gift shop there the lady in there was so freaking lovely I loved her she gave us such good advice um so I first picked up from auraspray.com um the aura clear spray now the reason I picked up this one as well as this one because they are um quite similar is just because I loved the feel of both of them so I was like well I'm just gonna get both of them then um so I think this is 12 pounds from memory um you can actually buy these on the um Chalice Wells gardens website so you can pick these up even if you aren't in Glastonbury or you're not going there I don't think they do worldwide shipping I haven't looked but don't quote me on that so yeah this is a really really good one I loved the ingredients in this and it just feels so good this is like just a normal clearing spray um to just kind of rejuve your vibes kind of perk you up a bit um and just clear you and cleanse i guess so the next one is from a different company i think it's protecting clear aura spray is the company i don't know what the company is because there's actually like no details on here there's no barcode there's nothing so i don't know whether the chalice wells gardens make this themselves i don't know um just because there's like no information or website or anything so again this is on the chalice wells website as well so you can go have a look at this but this is the one hannah recommended to me and she always carries around so when i used it in london i was like oh my god those vibes are good so this one is for protecting your kind of energy and clearing as well so if you've got any energy vampires in your life or you feel a bit 
drained in circumstances or maybe out and about hotel rooms traveling even in your own home these are really really good sprays to one clear but this one's good for protecting as well um this was about 15 pounds so a little bit more expensive but yeah i just really love the ingredients in both the crystals in both um and how they make me feel effectively. Like, you know, try before you buy. I was spraying them in the shop and I was like, oh, I love this one. Or I was like, oh no, don't feel anything from that. So got some more aura sprays. I'm gonna need a shelf for all of these soon. Um, but yeah, anybody who comes in my house now or me, I'm just like spraying, I'm like, clear those vibes, protect those vibes, like I've got a spray for everything. So another one of my favourites this month is my office space. I wanted to include this just because I do really, really love it. So I'm going to show you a close up of my plant down there. So I got this from my local store, Cherry Aden Poundbury. Um, I love this store so much just because one of the ladies in there are always really lovely, of course. Um, but secondly, they have supplied my whole house with plants. I mean, I have bought them. I didn't mean they, they didn't give them to me. I have bought them. Um, so I do have to like literally restrict myself sometimes. So I got this gorgeous plant for down here um, and I've got tons of plants from there, um, from them all over the house. And also my little um, display as well here for my desk. So I've mixed a lot of things in here. Obviously my Himalayan lamp, um, some sage, some candles, some crystals, loads of things. I've kind of like created this little um, little space, obviously for my desk um, to bring positive vibes to my work, but equally for my YouTube background. So this was like a much needed revamp of the office. Um, and obviously filming these videos in here was the kick up the bomb I needed to do that. So yes, this plant um, was obviously from Cherry Aid. So if you're local to the Poundbury Dorchester area, always go and check them out because they're awesome. But you may be able to find stuff like this from local home decor shops or garden centers near you um i don't know what the plant's called i'm afraid i'm not that much of a plant expert um, but hopefully the photo is a good indication <laughs> um, and yeah with my kind of display up on my desk the crystals were obviously either from my shop or i've bought them from my local crystal shop which is like a chain shop the himalayan salt lamp i got off amazon um because i've got one downstairs as well so i thought i better have one up here um so yeah like i've just got a mix and match of stuff really um so if anybody's got any like specific questions of where i bought stuff from like ask me in the comments because it's easier than me going through everything right now but yeah i'm just really really loving this space it's really kind of brightened and kind of made me enjoy my office space more um and help me feel more positive during my work which is always important so my last favorite of september is my new little autumn jacket so i've left the label on there specifically so i could tell you the price because i always forget so it was 24.99 from h&m um, and i've really wanted one of these kind of like gray blazer jacket things um for ages because obviously they just look so amazing um but i couldn't i just couldn't find the right type i literally ordered about five or six from different websites they were all oversized they all looked just hideous on they all had weird colors kind of entwined in it and i just wanted a gray one so when i saw this in h&m i was so freaking happy because i was like all my christmases will come at once um and i've got the actual gray jacket i wanted and i actually went for a size six in this i am a 10 to 12 normally so um yeah i i, I <laughs> this is like the first ever item i've bought in a size six i was very proud of myself i was very like i've just bought a size six yes <laughs> like the first time in my life and the only time in my life um just because i wanted it really fitted and these are obviously so baggy if i'd got the 10 to 12 it would be hanging off me and sometimes they just make you look so much bigger than what you are so um yes if you're definitely going to look at this I mean, just go many sizes smaller, like feel good about yourself, many sizes smaller. Cause like I said, I'm a 10 to 12 and this is a size six. So I was like three sizes smaller really. Um, but I love this jacket so much. It does up at the front as well. It's got some pockets. Um, if you have a look at my Instagram, there's loads of pictures I've been taking recently in it because I'm just wearing it all the time because I love it so much. Um, and it's just really nice for that transitional period from summer to autumn when you don't want a heavy thick coat, when it's still quite, I was gonna say mild. Yeah, mild outside heat wise. So yes, I'm just really loving this design and it hasn't got any weird colors. It's just gray and what's well, kind of like blacky gray and white. Um, and it's just a really suited, it's just a really nice fitted blazer. Um, and for 24 pounds, it was an absolute bargain. And it's not always like a really firm blazer as well. Sometimes I feel like when you wear firm blazers, you feel quite structured. Whereas this kind of like molds to your body, which is good. So yes, I thought I would show you a little fashion favorite as well this month, just because I have been wearing this 
literally most days, which is probably really bad. But you know when you just love a coat, you're like, I'm just gonna wear it every day, babes. So there you have it. They're all my favorites throughout September. I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, everything I speak about will be linked in the description box down below. Obviously, if I can link them or I've mentioned the shop they're from. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. And I will see you in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love, guys.